Well, here we are at Manchester Airport on a very wet Saturday morning. And we are flying off to America to visit New York, Niagara and Florida. And see a little bit of New England and leave this dismal weather behind us. It's November, November the 2nd. And it's very, very wet indeed. So, we board the plane. Sure was the Delta Airlines. And we flew off to America. And left Manchester behind. It was a lovely sunny day when we got there. It was cold, but it was sunny. And we skated the city and made our way as quickly as possible onto the outskirts and away on our way to Niagara but we knew we wouldn't get there the same day because it's too far away and there's the famous Yankee Stadium so we left all the city behind and we were soon on the open road Trump. here we are in and Stamford, that's the road we've just come off and that's our bedroom window, we've settled in the motel Quite busy around Stamford. Looking down from the bedroom. And there's a road and rail going past there where we catch the train the following day to go to New York. The railway station at Stamford and we're waiting for the New York flyer to take us straight to New York. It's a lovely sunny day again, a little bit chilly, but it's great. So we can put up with that. So we're looking forward to a full day in New York and we'll tell you all about it later. So here comes one of the New York trains. It's not the one we're going on, but uh, just to give you a look at what the trains look like. And the next time we speak to you, we'll be in New York. first thing we did when we got there is to find a way to the underground station and make our way to where you get the boat to go across to Ellis Island and there it is over there well that's Liberty Island and next to it is Ellis Island and these are the boats that take the passengers across there it's uh, quite rough today and uh, there's the skyline of New York City and here comes the boat that we're going on, and there's quite a queue. Now that's not the one we're going on, that's one that's just going out as we get there. Quite a lot of passengers, notice how they all turn round at the same time, because I think something happened on the boat. You see them all turn round at the same time. Watch this, there they go. I think it, I think something bumped and they all got a bit of a surprise there. So we're in this massive queue, waiting for our next boat. And that's the famous New York skyline. Water looks pretty choppy. It's a good job it's not a very long journey because uh, I don't like the water. Here comes uh, one of the boats. Back again, you can either visit Liberty Island or both of them. That's the kind of view that people get when they're coming into New York Harbour and that's the kind of view they get when they're leaving it. Bit of a wind on as well. It was nice and sunny but it was very, very cold. Really was. I think it takes about 20 minutes to get across. And there's the shots from the rear of the boat. And we all get excited as we reach closer to Liberty Island. 
and the wind is blowing quite strongly. There's all sorts of nationalities on this boat. And passengers um, reach Liberty Island and um, they just spend as much time as they want to on there. But to get up that tower, a lot of people want to go up there. Well, this time of the year it was a two and a half hour wait, or three hours. In the summer it could be much, much longer. But it's worth having the trip just to say you've been there. Um, a lot of people would say that fancy going all that way not going up there but uh, when you're only going in there for the day um, it's a long wait especially when it's cold as well Liberty Island there's all the information there But whatever, whatever angle, you can't um, help but keep taking pictures of the thing. A nice close-up. You can go right to the top of the crown there and look out the windows. There's some of the people about halfway up. The yoke's over there. Too much wind. Can't hear what we're saying. And I was trying to say, New York's over there and we're over here. Even Keith can't get a word in because of the wind. I told him to come a bit closer. But there are people who do take the trouble to go right up to the top there. Must be bitterly cold up there if you're standing outside. There's helicopters tr uh, flying over all the time because people who are staying in New York just get a helicopter to take them up and over the water round the Statue of Liberty and then back again. I don't know how much it costs but uh, there's plenty of helicopters flying over all the time. I suppose it's uh, nice to get an aerial shot. There's the marquee down there, and that's the queue in there of the people who are queuing up. Me and Eve decided to give it a miss. Keith likes to have a little say on the film and uh, that's the jetty where you get your um, boat back and this is the restaurant area where you can sit and have a snack most people head straight for the cafe when they get off the boat and uh, it's, it's a little bit uh, shorter people at the moment they're all inside because it's so cold out there 
of the pigeons are still looking around for food. And this is a, a good shot of the uh, book that uh, the Statue of Liberty has got in her hand. From which And romance blossoms here in New York. Might not be, obviously I don't know because I ain't seen any ferries coming. More helicopters circulating. Helicopters taking people all the time. Helicopters and planes. Bit of live commentary there. There don't seem to be a lot of people about, but there are. There are the, the most of them is in the restaurant. We're making our way back now. We've seen all we want to see. Not that there's a lot to see on uh, Liberty Island. There's the queue, look. Outside the tent and all the way in it. Hell of a queue. So, uh, there's some mini statues of the Eiffel Tower and the Statue of Liberty and that's the statue that's the chap who made it he made the Statue of Liberty and the Eiffel Tower there's the Eiffel Tower little model so we're back on the boat again and we're going towards Ellis Island we, did, we didn't actually get off at Ellis Island we could have done but we only paid for the trip to Liberty Island and then um, those who want to go to Ellis Island well we have to take them there drop them off and then go back to the uh, New York Harbour that's Ellis Island there and those are the uh, dwellings that people were living in when they first arrived in America. They it was put on Ellis Island until all the paperwork was sorted out, until they discovered where people wanted to be and what they were going to do with them. And we're just coming into the dock side at Ellis Island now. It's probably worth a visit if you've got the time. But it's getting late in the day and we've still got to see around New York itself. family of ducks bobbing about on the water there. I don't know whether that's Brooklyn Bridge in the background or not. Anyway, we're in New York City once again and that's the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Statue of Liberty. That's the Empire State Building, and uh, we went. We even went down there, and uh, look how narrow the streets are. Except this one. This one's quite wide, and the traffic is really horrendous. They're, they're flying about like nobody's business. And of course, because the streets are so narrow, it cuts a lot of daylight out. I think. Madison Avenue, quite busy. And this is inside the statue, the statue of the museum. I go again. It's inside the Empire State Building, the King Kong model of King Kong. 
and there's a plane coming round it. It's a huge building, but uh, we got in the queue, it was uh, a two hour wait, and uh, then we found out you couldn't go to the top anyway, so we didn't bother. We made a mistake by not going on one of these organised coach trips. Um, that you saw them lined up there, you could take one for $37 and they would have taken your round but somewhere, we were not far from Times Square but we never got there uh, it, it just didn't happen so um, we went down 5th Avenue, Madison Avenue and this is where we are now in, those, in these areas but it gives you an idea of what uh, New York looks like most people have said to me after seeing this, these pictures that it didn't look as busy as they thought it was going to look. And to be quite honest, I didn't think it was that busy. Um, well, there you are. There's a New York City dweller, perched on a branch. Yes, we're in Madison Avenue. But this is how the traffic is, it's stop, go, stop, go all the time, it uh, must be horrendous living there. People said to me when we told them in the hotel that we was going for to, to New York for the day, they said they had the best of luck here. But you can see it looks a bit scruffy, they've got uh, these uh, skips all over the place and bags of rubbish all over the place. Unlike. Toronto, which was very, very clean. But I'm glad we went. We wouldn't have seen this if we hadn't gone, and uh, it's just uh, one chance in a lifetime, really, I suppose. I suppose people keep going back once they've been. But I mean, it is November, and uh, there's one or two Christmas decorations about, but not a lot. You may wonder why we're photographing a photo shop. Well, Keith spent considerable time in there buying a camera. They tend to keep you talking quite a lot. Um, even when I bought one a couple of years ago, I was in the shop nearly an hour. But look at all the little Statues of Liberty that you can buy in all shapes and sizes of souvenirs some made in plastic and some made from metal we stayed there till it got dark and we'd had a long day and uh, after we took these pictures we made our way back to the railway station to go back to Stamford so these are the only pictures that we got of New York. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at these pictures and that's as far as we've got with the holiday pictures so far. This is Grand Central Station, by the way, where we was heading to our train. Massive station, completely renovated. Spent a lot of money in there, but look at the size of it. Massive station, because the trouble is... Grand Union 
Central Station in New York, at making it waiting for our train back to Stamford, where we came from ten hours ago. Yeah, the two girls have gone to find the toilet, but uh, what a place. Um, we spend a lot of time trying to find a way around. That's the ceiling with all the decor on it. And above that station is um, 42nd Street. This is the plane coming in. I don't know where we are at the moment. We've gone to a shopping centre somewhere. We're not far from the airport, wherever we are. We look like we're back at New York, York Airport catching a plane to Florida. Delta Airlines is the carrier that we flew on. watching the planes take off for quite a while and uh, I turned my camera off and uh, we saw Concorde take off. This may not well be New York Airport, I can't remember because we went to, to two airports. The pilot sat in the cockpit. And there's gate 25, what we're looking for. I think it is New York, New York Airport because we got there rather early. We we took the car back, and then they take you to the airport. And we was there for, oh something like four or five hours before the flight. Otherwise, we'd have given the car up and we'd have had nothing to do for those four or five hours. You can't go anywhere, can you? That's a jumbo jet. Yes, we didn't see Concorde take off at New York Airport, it was a different airport where we saw it take off. Anyway, we're off to Florida. And here we are in the sky, above the clouds. When the sun hits the camera, it goes all dark. There's the sun over there. <laughs> 